The Battle of Mount Dingjin was fought between the warlords Liu Bei and Cao Cao in 219 during the prelude to the Three Kingdoms stretch of Chinese history. Liu Bei's victory in the battle marked a major milestone in his Hanzhong campaign. The battle signified the only major territorial change between the three kingdoms in the whole period, with Liu Bei taking Hanzhong commandery. Chapter 1 – The Battle In 217, Liu Bei led a campaign to attack Hanzhong, which was under the control of Cao Cao. His force met with resistance led by Xiaohou Yuan at Yangping Pass. The confrontation dragged on for more than a year until one night, Liu Bei set fire to the barbed fence around Xiaohou Yuan's camp at the foot of Mount Tingjin. Alarmed by the attack, Xiaohou Yuan sent Zhang He to defend the eastern corner of the camp, while he guarded the south. Liu Bei's main force pressed against Zhang He, outmatching the latter. Xiaohou Yuan had to dispatch a fraction of his own troops to Zhang He's rescue. Accompanied by drums, the division led by General Huang Zhong then descended upon Xiaohou Yuan's dwindling force. The battle became a rout and Xiaohou Yuan and his son Xiaohou Rong were both killed in action along with his deputy. Chapter 2 – In Romance of the Three Kingdoms In Chapter 71 of the 14th century historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms, Xiaohou Yuan had his camp set up on Mount Dingjin, so he could easily see the enemy camp at the bottom of the mountain. Huang Zhong moved his camp nearer and nearer to Xiaohou Yuan's camp every few days. Later, Xiaohou Yuan came up with a strategy to lure Huang Zhong and capture him. He sent Xiaohou Shang to Huang Zhong's camp, challenging Huang to come out and fight him. However, Chen Shi, Huang Zhong's subordinate, volunteered to fight Xiaohou Shang. Xiaohou Shang feigned defeat and retreated. Chen Shi would not give up and pursued Xiaohou Shang, but fell into an ambush set by Xiaohou Yuan and was captured. Xiaohou Yuan was not very happy as he had expected to capture Huang Zhong. Xiaohou Shang was later captured by Huang Zhong in battle. Xiaohou Yuan decided to release Chen Shi in return for Xiaohou Shang, which Huang Zhong agreed. The next day, at the front line, where the prisoners were exchanged, Huang Zhong fired an arrow at Xiaohou Shang and wounded him. Xiaohou Yuan was furious and wanted to fight Huang Zhong but was stopped by Zhang He. Xiaohou Yuan had no choice but to return to his camp and defend firmly. At the advice of Fa Zheng, Huang Zhong moved his forces to Mount Tiandang, a nearby mountain with a higher peak. Xiaohou Yuan could not tolerate enemy forces having the vantage point, and decided to attack Mount Tiandang. Huang Zhong, however, kept his forces back and did not engage Xiaohou Yuan. Later, Fa Zheng saw that Xiaohou Yuan's forces were dispirited. He then signaled Huang Zhong to attack Xiaohou Yuan. Xiaohou Yuan could not respond in time and was killed by Huang Zhong, who cleaved Xiaohou right beneath the shoulders. The victory consolidated Huang Zhong's position as one of the five tiger generals. When Cao Cao heard of Xiaohou Yuan's death, he broke down in tears. Only then did he understand the words of the soothsayer Guan Lu. Three and eight run crisscross, a yellow pig meets a tiger, south of the halted army, a limb will be lost. Chapter 3 in popular culture. The battle is also reenacted in Peking Opera, based on the novel. It was said that the actor playing Xiaohou Yuan would get a red envelope for his performance during the Chinese New Year, since it is considered bad fortune to be killed on stage at that time of the year. The first Chinese film ever made, Dingjin Mountain, was a recording of the Peking Opera.